this time a budget pencil mic that sounds really, really good. Hi, the T-Bone range of microphones are an in-house brand from a company called Toman, and that company is based in Germany. They're an excellent company, and when you order goods from them, they supply you with a named contact and not only that, the goods arrive really, really quickly. They deal in microphones and instruments as well. The SC140 costs £44 like this one for a single mic. And if you want a stereo match pair, that's £88. To be honest, there aren't many microphones that you get at £44 that include this solid case, a foamy support, all packaged up like this. Very, very few microphones supply such a good value package. The microphone has an 18 millimeter capsule inside. It has a, a non-removable head and it has a cardioid polar pattern. It, uh, it has a 10 dB cut or a 20 dB cut. So you've got a little bit more headroom there if you need it. It can run flat. You can have a base cut at 75 Hertz or 150 Hertz. So it's quite a useful microphone. Maximum SPL is 130 dB. Its sensitivity is quoted as minus 38 dB. This microphone has an incredible signal to noise ratio of 84.8 dB. That's even better than my SE Electronics microphone. So it's, it's quoted as incredibly low. Whether it actually is that, I'm not sure, but that's a very low figure for a pencil mic. Taman say that it's ideal for use with drum kits where you mic it overhead, especially for cymbals. It's also useful for acoustic guitar and for recording piano, but I quite like using it with the voice. Frequency response is quoted as 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, and that's exactly what they show here on the graph. There is a slight drop off below, let me see, it's below about just under 100, about um, eight, seven, 80 hertz. From about 80 hertz downwards, it starts to slope off. So it's, it's pretty much 20 to 20 really, for all intents and purposes anyway. For £44, you get quite an amazing package. You get this lovely aluminium case. It's, it's all fitted and everything. The mic comes, of course, in there. It comes with a foamy and it also has this shock mount. This is only plastic, but actually it does suspend the microphone with the use of two rubber bands there, two elastic bands. And not only that, they supply you with a couple of spares as well, should they break. So in all, this is a pretty comprehensive package to say the least. It's a lovely case, I must admit. I do like the case. I'm one for cases, I do like them because it protects everything. But it's a nice package, 44 pounds for this package. So let's see what it actually sounds like. This is the sound of the SC140 from the front when it's held quite close to you. And as you can see, I'm hand holding it as well, which is quite unusual for a, a pencil microphone. The thing is, the capsule seems to be quite isolated from the body of the microphone. So if you tap the body, it's not overly aware of it, actually. Now, that's quite hard. And uh, when you tap it like that, on a lot of microphones, you would get a real thumping sort of sound, but this one doesn't seem to be overly reactive. So the thing I like about this microphone is it's got quite a smooth sound in comparison to some other pencil mics that I've tried. Now, the thing about pencil mics is that they're great for um, doing things like recording loud sounds because they will take quite a loud sound. And not only that, they tend to have pads. And this one's got a minus 10 dB and a minus 20 dB. So your range gets extended by 20 dB, which is good for recording instruments. When it comes to recording voice, though, you're recording a much quieter sound than an instrument. So I've set this on zero. Basically, if you set it on 10, minus 10 or minus 20, it doesn't change the sound at all, just makes it softer, makes it quieter. It also has a high pass filter and it's quite a subtle one in that it only goes down by minus 3 dB per octave. So it's quite a smooth one. Very often you see ones that go minus 6 or even minus 12, which is actually quite, uh, minus 12 is for quite steep, but uh, minus 3 is a little bit more subtle perhaps. This is the sound of the microphone with a 75 hertz cut. It's only at 3 dB per octave, so it's quite subtle, but that means the really low rumbly noises are going to be filtered out um, and not too massively, but 
they're going to be slowly going away by 3 dB for every octave. Now in this house I've got fridges and freezers going so sometimes that can cause a very low rumble on a microphone and you're not aware of it live. You don't hear it with your ears then you get it on, on the computer later and you hear this rumbling you think where's that coming from or a plane or car's gone past. So this one will take out low rumbles. Now sometimes you want it to be just a little bit higher so you can set this to 150 as well. This is the sound of the microphone with 150 hertz cut and this one is really useful but because it's at 150 it might be cutting slightly into my voice. With men's voices 150 is just about getting a bit high um, but the thing is is if you ever use this outdoors when there's a little bit of a wind or something this can help enormously and it really does cut the rumbles down. This one is a little bit more subtle I think than a lot of them because it's only a, a it's a more shallow cut off rather than minus six per octave so it's quite a nice one but it's still nevertheless it works quite efficiently and uh, it sounds quite good I think. I've now switched the microphone back to a normal flat response there's no bass cuts going on and I'm at zero um, gain and this is the sound of the microphone from the front this is the sound of the microphone from the side this is the sound of the microphone from the rear back to the side and we're back to the front again and you'll probably hear that it's a cardioid it has a cardioid polar pattern. So for me this is a great microphone it's nice and smooth sounding and along with my SE electronics microphone the SE8 it's actually now become one of my favorites the reason being the SE electronics has a, a solid base and a solid top end it's almost like a U slightly U-shaped sounding microphone but this one I think is a bit more even overall and it has this sort of smooth response that I really really do like and I think it works quite nicely with the voice rather than just with instruments. So I hope this video has been useful for you and I hope to see you next time. Please consider subscribing and even better, click the bell so you get a notification of my next video. Cheers for now.